taking art off the canvas and making it 3D. We love that. That's what our next guest is doing. And he can teach you how to do it too, which is also very cool. Matt Olin with Charlotte is Creative is here this morning. You brought Quincy Woodward here with you. Uh, Woodard, excuse me. Don't, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, to talk a little bit about his artwork. But I want you first to tell me, he was involved in your Creative Entrepreneurs Initiative. That's right. And I think some people don't know what that is. Yeah, so um, Charlotte is Creative, our nonprofit, has a uh, twice a year we pull together a, a cohort of artists and we teach them small business skills, entrepreneurial skills, really sort of infusing them with the knowledge and the know how that they need to to approach their craft like a business and, and to uh, be able to thrive as a small business owner because we think artists are small businesses. And artists sometimes don't think of themselves that way, right? Yeah, so I it's mean, shifting the mindset too. They focus on the work, which I'm sure you did, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's the majority of what we do. <laughs> so why was this initiative so important for you to kind of push everything forward? Well, I mean, there's so much like uh, emotion that goes into artwork. So, I mean, a lot of times we get kind of lost in just our passion and I just really need to like ground it. Yeah. And so once I kind of found out about this program, I was like, I need somewhere I can go that's, you know, not a structured college experience that's still going to be fun and be with like minded people. Um, that's going to help me ground my work and really push it forward in a real way. And yeah. they really helped me do that. Let's talk about your work. What do you do? What is your work? So I'm a 3D artist. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So basically what that is, is taking like a whole bunch of different vertices and points and putting them in together and making meshes and turning even people like you into 3D models. Mm. Um, what I really got inspired was, you know, through my childhood. Mm. Um, movies like Bugs Life, Toy Story, these yeah. first oh. animations really took my creativity to another level but of course we didn't have the tools yet right. now we have it right in our hands yeah. and so at the harvey began center mm -hmm. um you know i'm doing workshops and teaching people um even you know young people about how to make their artwork go from 2d to 3d so cool it's so cool and that 3d experience as someone who's viewing the art mm -hmm. how does that next level what the experience is for for the person who is experiencing your work People ask me that a lot. They're like, yeah. how do you apply it? Right. You know, it's on a screen. It's not really in your hand. So the next level for me is to also showcase how we can take this art into a uh, physical form. Mm. So we can really touch and see. So through 3D printing, now we're going to get into a space where we can actually have like exhibits and different experiences. They even have holograms now. There's wow. so much besides flying cars yet um, <laughs> that we have to really bring to the art table. And now this is a question. and. and I am not of this mindset, but I think some people are of the mindset. Well, if we're using technology to create this work, what is the work of the artist? You know, mm -hmm. people think art is you're there with a pencil and a pen or a crayon or a paint or something like that. You're sculpting with your hands. This is still art, even though we're infusing it with technology. Yes, it is. Um, there's history behind it. I can still display that mask and also tell you what the story behind it is. So you're still immersed in that. Um, and if we're being honest, sometimes we look at a painting, we don't fully read the name. I can actually display the name on my piece in an animated form and uh, tell you a story like that. So there's multiple ways I think 3D work can kind of, you know, interact with a person. Yeah. It's, your work is really beautiful. I, I really, really love it. I want you to tell me about the Heritage Masks Workshop. This one is super important. Yeah. I've been like making masks for a while now. Um, I grew up in a home full of African tribal masks. My mom, I don't know if she knew like where they were from, but she had them. I don't know if from TJ Maxx or <laughs> <Right>. from <laughs> right. like Home Goods, but I was like, this has to be from Kenya. <laughs> and so. <laughs> That's my favorite moment of life. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been drawing masks for a very long time. And yeah. so now to have this experience where I can turn into 3D, I can even print these and put them on people's faces. And so it's really close to my heart in yeah. many ways. And I really want to bring people into their tradition, some of their heritage yep. um, into the future. So I'm like kind of making a little future uh, past baby, if you will. Yes. <laughs> well, and I love the fact that you're doing it in a way that it is accessible to so many people of so many ages and affordable. Yes, only $10. We all spend that at Chick-fil-A for number one. Yeah. No pickles. <laughs> <laughs> Large fries. We just fry. got a little insight into Quincy's lunch order. Um, oh my gosh, I love this guy. Well, it's so cool. And you know, we're so proud of him too because yeah. he landed an opportunity grant from the city of Charlotte that's allowing this accessibility to happen 
uh, with these this series of, of uh, 3D modeling workshops at the Gantt Center. You know, it's so cool. Like, it's about giving folks these creative artistic tools that they can actually go out and it's workforce development in yeah. many ways. Yeah, yeah, and f and then you finding those opportunities and then turning it around and sharing more opportunity with others, which is cool. Yeah, I want to just lastly say yeah. thank you to the Harvey B. Gantt and yeah. Moda. Um, you know, they had some funding too in 2022 that allowed them to open up this space called Moda, which allows people like me to really share this work. I want to shout out Angel Butler as well. Um, she's the digital strategist out there and she's doing amazing work. Uh, I'm happy to call her a friend. Oh, I love that. All right, all of the information for Quincy Woodard and all of his work right there. Give him a follow on X and Facebook and Instagram as well. And of course, the team at Charlotte is creative. You know we love those folks. Always bringing us cool stuff here in the QC. Thank you guys for coming. We appreciate Thanks. it. Thank you, Kristen.